Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We invite you to watch the English Chinese programs of Central Television Channel of the Nine Province. On February 23rd, at the party central headquarters, the subcommittee on documents of the 14th Party Congress has first session under the chairmanship of General Secretary Nguyen Phu Dong, head of the subcommittee on documents. General Secretary Nguyen Phu Dong said that the National Congress of the Party is an extremely important political event. The 14th Party Congress had the task of deeply reviewing the implementation of resolution of the 10th National Congress, summarizing 40 years of carrying out the renovation of the country at a socialist orientation, thereby drawing important lessons, determining directions, objectives, and tasks of the whole party, the whole people, and the whole military in the next five years, 2026 2030. Continue to successfully implement the 10 year social economic development strategy 2021 2030. The 14th Congress will review the leadership of the 13th Central Committee, review the implementation of the 13th Party Charter, and carry out amendments to the Party Charter. Elect the 14th Party Central Committee to meet the requirements of building and defending the social Vietnam fatherland in a new situation. The economy has a very successful start in the first period of the new year. Production and export recovered with an impressive growth rate of 42% over the same period last year. Industrial production also increased as much as 19.3% after months of negative growth in 2023. With this start, the possibility of meeting and exceeding the economic growth target of 6.5% this year is considered very feasible. The biggest challenges for Vietnam's economy in 2024 still come mainly from the outside such as possibility that Fed will reduce interest rates more slowly than expected. The interest rate level of major economies remains high and political uncertainties in the world which may affect demand for goods. Economic experts said that push the disbursement of policy investment and increasing domestic demand will help Vietnam's economy continue to grow in the face of fluctuations. On February 23rd, Comrade Võ Thanh Đức, at the chairman of the Nam Provincial Bureau's Committee, head of the Steering Committee of Project 6 of the province, chaired an online conference to assess the limitation of Project 6 in February 2024. At the conference, Mr. Võ Thanh Đức asked heads of departments, sectors, agencies, units, and localities to maximize their role as commanders of the industry and fields and be responsible to the government and provincial both committee for assigned tasks. In particular, it is necessary to focus on accelerating the implementation of firewall software license and renewal at the provincial data integration center, ensuring security and safety for connection with national database on population, raise the social security payment rate to at least 30 percent in the first quarter of 2024 and pay non-cost social security benefits to 1% of people with accounts. Focus on deploying point models, continue to review and clean specialized data, accelerate data digitization, especially in the fields of civil status, land, labor, and employment. The Arden Chairman of Provincial Board's Committee noted that the team for 2024 has been directed by Prime Minister to be the year, improving institutions, infrastructure, digitizing data, improving the quality of human resources to promote the limitation of processes to effectively serve people and businesses. Dong Nai is one of leading provinces in Vietnam in terms of investment attraction. The advantages of geographical location, synchronous development of infrastructure, diversity of most of cargo transportation, and many preferential policies for investment projects are the strengths of the province. Dong Nai currently has 33 industrial parks, a trend for the four countries and territories to invest with over 2,100 projects. In particular, nearly 1,500 FDI projects, the total investment capital of projects is about 30 billion US dollars. In the coming time, Dong Nai advocates selectively a trend new investment, giving priority to high-tech projects, clean technology, 
clean production and using renewable energy. The province also encourages enterprises to invest in machinery, focusing on transforming production technology towards modernity and environmental friendliness. The South, Central Highlands and South Central region are in the peak of dry season with lots of sunshine and it is high risk of forest fires. In recent days, forest fire prevention is being implemented urgently and seriously by local office in Nomad province, recorded in the area of Yuqiang Mountain, Sunlop District. Yuqiang Mountain with a total forest land area of over 1,700 hectares. This place has a fairly diverse forest ecosystem with many types of plants and animals, listed as rare along with centuries-old Asian temples. Every year, every January to March of the lunar calendar, the heat is intense, the leaves of forest fall abundantly, causing the vegetation to thicken, covering the hollows of rocks. Currently, the weather is extremely hot, the forest falls very thickly, Inserted into the rock crevices, if a fire occurs, it will be very difficult to extinguish. At the beginning of the year, this place also attracts hundreds of thousands of visitors to come to worship the Buddha. The need for frequent use of fire makes the risk of fire very high. In order to ensure good forest fire prevention in recent years, local authorities and functional centers have strengthened patrol, inspection, and reminder for people to strictly abide by forest fire prevention measures. Besides rancher forces, our communities and town also mobilize people to join hands in fire protection work in the area of Yujiang Mountain. Venerable Thich Wang Dao said, Because it is an ancient pagoda crowded with pilgrims, the pagoda pays great attention to fire prevention and fighting. In addition to propaganda and advocacy work on forest fire prevention, the People's Committee of Sunglop District has directed our forefathers and local authorities to well implement the model of four on site, including command on the spot, forces on the spot, vehicles on the spot, and logistics on the spot. Organized patrols remind people to go in and out of the forest. Fully equipped fire fighting tools set up many runways to prevent fire.